Hi, uh, my name is Jasmine Akim Aitu Mahfarid. So, the title of our project is The First Law of Thermodynamic of Piston Cylinder. So, the group members of this project is Cik Nur Ali Shah Binti Cik Zainu Bahri, Jasmine Akim Aitu Mahfarid, My Sarah Binti Abdul Rahman, Mama Inas Akmal bin Mama Nasri and also Mama Ani Hadith bin Nur Ashid. Okay, so the introduction of our project is we know that first law of thermodynamic is law of conservation, eh, it's a law of conversation of energy. So it states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. So piston cylinder is actually one of the examples of thermodynamic system. So what can determine when piston cylinder expand and when the gas and piston cylinder was heated? Okay, so basically there are four types of thermodynamic process. The first one is isobaric process, second is isochoric, the third is isothermal and the fourth is the adiabatic process. Okay, the problem statement in our mini project is how can we apply GUI and other MATLAB programs to the first law of thermodynamics of piston cylinder. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Inas Akamal bin Muhammad Nasri. I will be presenting about the objective of our project which is our topic is the first law of thermodynamics uh, piston cylinder. So the first law of thermodynamics states that the internal energy change of a system equals, equals to net heat transfer uh, minus net work done by the system. So um, one of the most important things uh, we can do with heat transfer is to use it to do work for us. Uh, such as example, um, a device that call a heat engine, which is car engine, and steam turbines, all of these uh, uh, generate electricity of heat engines that do work for us. Okay, next there is a table one, which is a summary of simple thermodynamic process. So the first one is a uh, isobaric, which is a constant pressure. Uh, which is work is equal to P delta V, P stand for pressure and V for volume. And the second one is isochoric. Isochoric is the process involved with a constant volume, which is work is equal to zero. And the third one is isothermal, which is the process that involved in the constant, uh, constant temperature. Uh, which is Q is equal to W, W which is work. And the last one is adiabatic. Adiabatic is the no heat transfer process which is Q is equal to zero which is Q is stand for heat okay so the flow diagram of our project is first we start and do some research for our mini project then we do a model programming in the MATLAB about the work done in pistons cylinder devices then about the isobaric process the isochoric process the isothermal process and also the specific heat capacity then we will be plotting the graph then we calculate the data that we present the findings and the data and it comes to the end of our mini project we are calculate the work using uh, GUI this is output of GUI first uh, the diagram show uh, when the program is done uh, there are five constant which is P and R V1 and V2. Uh, we insert uh, all the value which is uh, temperature 300, uh, number of mole is 1, gas constant 8.314, initial volume is 1, and final volume is five, the five. Then, uh, we solving the problem, we click the solve button. Then, uh, we can get the value, uh, the work value, which is 4014.26. Okay, I will explain about the isothermal process. Okay, these are the coding for isothermal process. Basically, we use a symbolic math to do the coding. So, basically, we just put in the equation and we can solve 
how to do the isothermal process. Okay, then we use Z plot to create a graph of P versus V. Okay, this is the graph of the isothermal process. Okay, we can see that it was um, proportional to each other. Okay, then the isochoric process. Uh, this uh, basically how we do the coding in the MATLAB for the isochoric process. So we know that volume is constant. Okay, so an example of the system is gas in a box fixed walls. So the work done is zero in PV diagram. So this is how the common window in the MATLAB. Uh, then this is how the pressure volume graph will be plotted in the MATLAB. Okay, we can see here. So my part is to explain about the isobaric process. An isobaric process occurs at a constant pressure. Uh, since the pressure is constant, the force exerted is constant and the work done is given as a P times delta V. Such, such as example would such as example would be to have a movable piston in a cylinder so that the pressure inside the cylinder is always at the atmospheric pressure although it is isolated from the atmosphere. In other words, the system is dynamically connected by a movable boundary to a constant pressure reservoir. If a gas is to expand at a constant pressure, heat should be transferred into the system at a certain rate. So this process is called an isobaric expansion. Okay, next. So I had done the calculation uh, by using a coding in the MATLAB. Uh, so after I had done the coding, and I, I also plot a PV diagram, which is a pressure versus volume diagram. And the diagram show that, um, uh, show that the, I get the constant pressure graph, uh, which it proved it is an isobaric process. Hello, my name is Maisara. Uh, today I will present specific heat capacity. What is specific heat capacity? Specific heat capacity is the heat capacity of a sample of the substance divided by the mass of the sample. The general equation for specific heat capacity is Q equal to mc T, whereas Q equal to heat energy, M is mass, C is specific heat capacity, T is change in temperature. The heat Q transfer to cause a temperature change depend on the magnitude of the temperature change, the mass of the system and the substance and phase involved. If it's isobaric process, the specific heat equation will be like Q equal to N a number of moles Cp constant pressure molar specific heat constant pressure and T is ice isochoric process, the der derivation from first law thermodynamic equal to change in enthalpy equal to Q minus the work which is zero so E equal to molar specific heat constant volume times T so by using switch case with uh, we and we switch with this question is suitable for each each process. So equation equal to input enter the process. So switch equation. So if if is isobaric process, display equation Q equal to n uh, n C P times T, whereas case isochoric process, display E equal to C V T. We, while case isothermal process this way are defined undefined because I because the temperature is constant. Otherwise display the general equation which is Q equal to MCT to solve specific heat. Then and thank you. My name is Muhammad Anik Hadif bin Nur Rashid. Okay, I will present about the conclusion. In this project, we discover first law of thermodynamics that means 
law of conversation of energy by state that energy can neither be created or destroyed. Other than that, the study also involving energy and work done in the form of Q and W. We choose to study piston cylinder because it is one of the example thermodynamic system. Piston cylinder can through expansion and compression. In study also, we are able to do UI code and the calculation of the thermodynamic system by piston cylinder. We also able to perform pressure volume graph that require to calculate the work done. There are four type of process that shown the pressure volume graph such as isobaric, isochoric, isothermal and adiabatic. By determining the pressure volume graph, we are able to calculate work done and can do UI coding for the system.